What is going on? Becky here, and I want to go over some of the details of this fun interaction that I have with my customers um, every year that revolves around the big annual <laughs> football game. Um, so these are super fun squares. So what I'm going to do in this video is go over a little bit of how this works, some do's and don'ts that kind of center around copyright, trademark, um, gambling stuff, and then give some details on how you could implement this in your customer groups or within your, um, you know, within your customer base to really have some fun around uh, the big football game and add to your personal volume um, and just generally get people excited. It's a different way to talk about the product. So these are, um, this is a graphic that I make up. If you are on my team, Team Limitless, then you have access to this Canva graphic. If you're not, then you can Google or YouTube, you know, super fun squares or football squares, and you should get a graphic that is similar to this. Um, but what I do is I have this graphic that goes up every year and I call it super fun squares. We're not allowed to use this bowl verbiage. Okay. So I just call it super fun squares. You could call it fun football squares in my football era squares, whatever you would like to call it that doesn't have the specific name. Okay. Um, so I call it super fun squares. And if you're not familiar with how this works, you have all of the squares that are right here um, and there's a hundred of them. And so your customers or friends or family, they would do $5 per square. Okay. And then they could um, pick any one of these numbers. And your goal as the consultant is to fill all the squares. Okay. You are trying to get everybody to get a square. So it's $5 in squares. And then that money goes into a pot, which then goes to help pay for the prices. Okay. So when people are sending you their money, they can do it several different ways. I've done it with Venmo, Zelle, PayPal. You could do Square, email, invoice, Apple Pay, cash, however the best way is for you. And then you got to stay organized and kind of keep that money on the side. Um, keep track of who is paying and who is not. Good old fashioned pen and paper works for me. But once all of these numbers are filled, <clears throat> excuse me, then here's what happens. So as I am posting and texting and emailing about this in my customer group and on my social channels, what I am doing is after a number um, is picked and that person pays, then I block it out with a little football. Now the goal is, and I will update this many, many times, the goal is to get the whole every every football, um, every square covered, okay? So as people are, picking their squares. I'm just blocking them out. And then I'm reposting it to help create this sense of urgency. Like, oh, look at what's happening. These squares are selling out quick uh, because, you know, we keep it in front of our people more than once. We cannot just post more than once. We also just can't post in our customer groups. We want to make sure that we're individually messaging people. If you've done this before, then you can repeat with some of the people who have ordered scores, squares previously. Let them know that this fun game is back and this is a really great way that they can get um, one of the cool prizes. So after this is all, after these are all filled up, then what you do, and the directions are right here, um, these gray boxes right here get numbers one through nine. So what I do is that, or zero through nine, excuse me. So what I do is I just put them on little papers, I put them in a bowl, and my kids draw out the numbers. And so zero through nine get randomly picked this way and then get randomly picked on this side. And then from there, what happens is I fill in the numbers on this side that are pulled and I fill in the numbers on this side and then everybody's name goes right here. So this takes, it does take a little bit of work, but it's really fun. We get a paycheck, everybody gets excited. So for me, it's worth it to have um, to have this work. Now what happens is this is what happens during the game. So the football game has four quarters, okay? After each quarter, whatever the score is of the game, okay? Um, I have one team up here. I have one team down here. Again, I just pick that. And it goes based on the, on the team's 
um, score. So if the score is this team has 10, then this number, then it's this little guy right here. And if this team also has 10, then it's zero and zero because it's the last number right here. And then for if in this example, this person square 57 would win. Now, what are the prices? We took all of that money, okay. all of those little super squares, the super squares money. We kept it off to the side in our Venmo, PayPal, whatever. And so each time, each quarter we do that, we do that four times, there is a $125 shopping spree. So someone gets to win $125, you know, for 31. They can spend that however, um, however they want. So at the second quarter, you know, we draw another name. And the third quarter, we draw another name. And then the final one, we draw another name, okay? What I also have to help encourage people to buy more tickets, and this is something that comes from me, so this is not from the like from the extra money, right? Is what's called a quarterback special. So I'm trying to get these squares filled up, and so I do that by encouraging people to buy more squares. So what I have, and this is the blank one. <laughs> Again, if you're on my team, this is the template that you have access to is what's called a quarterback special. The quarterback special is if you buy five tickets, you are entered to win a raffle prize. And so this raffle prize can come from your stash. It can come from utilizing your customer, a 40% discount. This I'm actually using as an incentive. This is a product incentive that I earned, but I already have both of these products I have multiples of both of these products. Sorry. Um, and so what I do is I, when I order this, I'm actually just going to ship this right to, um, the winner of the special. So I'm trying to encourage people to order more tickets or to purchase more tickets. And I want this to fill up as much as possible. Now, if you have a big customer group or you have people who are really, really invested into the game, then, um, you could do more than one of these squares more than one of these um, worksheets, more than one of these, you know, 100 squares. I would recommend if you've never done it before, start with this one and really utilize people that you know who are big football fans that you know um, are cheering for the team or people who are not football fans, but they're going to go watch the game and they want a way to like have it be fun and have it be exciting for them. <laughs> that would be really, really fun too. Excuse me. So it's an annual thing that I do every year. I message and I communicate in multiple different ways. Um, if you do have, um, you know, these squares filled up, then they, you would get, you know, $500 for your customers to then be able to spend. And that earns you, if you are a consultant, that earns you $125 paycheck when you're placing this as a customer order, um, a regular retail order, and then submitting that. So it's fun for everybody. It's a great way to earn a paycheck. It's a great way to earn a $500 monthly incentive um, for the month of the, you know, the big super game. And it's just, it's a fun way to communicate and connect with customers in a way that's not necessarily, would you like to buy this? But here's something fun that I'm doing. Many people are familiar with this sort of process already. And it's just a really fun, interesting way to get to connect with a, a new demographic of customers or people who are really passionate about the game. All right. I hope that this was helpful for you. And um, yeah, I hope that you have fun at this super big game.